Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Don Dadan Episode 5. And in the last episode, we finally got rid of Turbo Granny once and for all. The woman who has been terrorizing poor Okanun since the first episode, but at the same time it's been a little bit of a give and take. Although she's had these moments where she would randomly try to take control over Okanun's body, at the same time she also gave Gave him some crazy cool abilities so now that we got rid of her my guess is that we also got rid of okarun's like super speed abilities i don't know if he's gonna bump into more spirits that give him more abilities down the line hopefully that's the case but if i'm being completely honest getting rid of turbo granny is it feels a little bit bittersweet at the end of the day because once we found out the truth behind why she does what she does why she targets weenies in particular um it's it's a little bit wholesome man it's almost like she's trying to go out of her way to avenge all of these women that have been taken advantage of in that tunnel so there's a little bit of a silver lining to this whole situation but i'm very interested in seeing where things go from here now that we've gotten rid of this big threat so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you guys know whenever i drop a brand new reaction and also don't forget that if you'd like to see my uncut reactions you can find all of them over on my patreon which you guys can join for as low as two dollars but with that all out of the way let's get into this episode Ooh. I feel like I've already said enough about the OST in this anime. Like, I'm sure we're all throwing it in our playlist after this series is done. Oh, he's trying to think of how to approach her. Because this is their first day at school after this whole incident. Oh, there she is. Was she waiting for him? Maybe? Potentially? Or she could be waiting for her friends. Let's not get our hopes up. Let's see. Oh no! He's he's too far in his own head, man. He's like, there's no way she would be waiting for me. Dang. Dude, Okanun found himself a real one, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like, where are your balls? Okay, <laughs> what is going on here? We know Turbo Granny was on some weird stuff. We know the aliens were on some weird stuff. Or she could be, like, saying that, you know, figuratively. Dang. Yeah, true. None of that. Nothing else matters, man. You got the coolest girl in the school. Alright, let's see Momo's POV. Is she thinking about him too? Let's see. Oh, dang, okay. As soon as class ends, things are going to get real interesting. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. They're really inseparable now, man. All right. Oh no! Right past each other, dude. No way they don't know. And, uh, I was about to say no one's paying attention to him, but... No way, dude! What is this, a Scooby-Doo episode? Where the detectives run right past the monster? <laughs> Even though it's right next to them, this is insane. 
No way they go through the whole school day without ever encountering each other. Oh, he's getting in his own head again. No way! Yeah, bro! <laughs> what is this? Open your eyes, woman! <laughs> this is hilarious, though. How they're both so close, but so far at the same time. And they bump into each other. Is it time? There it is! Oh, that was the sound of their teeth! <laughs> yeah, so no time to even hang out. Oh my god, no way. The rumors, they've already begun. Oh no. Now they're butting heads again. See, the friends already know what's going on here. Oh man, we were so close. Mm. Yep, they already know. This music, even the music on its own is already a vibe, dude. Oh, it's still gone? No way, right? No, no, come on, not in front of the class. What is, what is this pose? <laughs> Dang. Oh, no. Yeah, she doesn't want rumors to spread. Okay, there we go. There we go! <laughs> Look at their faces, bro! <laughs> Cheering them on. Now oh, he's gonna walk away. Oh, man. See, but we know how Momo is. She's gonna get up and go after him. Oh! Okay. New character here. Also, her voice actress sounds super familiar. Then again, everyone's voice actress sounds familiar. Oh, competition? Potentially? Oh no. Momo, hold on! <laughs> oh no, this is where things get complicated. Oh no! No way, she's playing with his feelings! Oh no! There we go! <laughs> That's a humbler real quick. I don't know what that pan is doing there, but good thing it was. No way. He said a delayed effect. <laughs> there we go, Momo. Dig, talk to her. Let's go. I feel like this is only the beginning, though. I feel like this started a war between them. Yeah, obviously she was just embarrassed because her friends were like all over her, huddling around her, trying to get all the juicy details. So I don't blame her too much. The cool thing about Momo is that she has a tendency to kind of go too far with her words 
But she's always like the first person to come back and apologize. <laughs> yeah, there's more important things at stake here. Yeah, that's the problem. It's still gone. Wait, so... Oh, no way! So the stick is back, but the berries are gone. Is that what I'm hearing? And Momo is just dying right now. Oh, man. Oh, and here she goes again. Dang! Oh my god! <laughs> She's trying to smack it out of him? Oh my god. You're gonna give him a concussion before you get rid of this thing. The aura changed for an instant. I mean, it's going through it. <laughs> oh, close. It couldn't have gotten far. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go inside a cat, isn't it? Oh my gosh! No way! Get him! <laughs> what the heck is going on here? We got a rogue cat on the loose. Okay. We got him. Is this a different spirit? What it is her? Oh, wow. So she slipped away. Okay. Oh. Yeah, good luck with that. True. <laughs> and the ball's over. And nobody gets hurt. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. Dang, he's not going to do it. What? Okay, so he still has his powers. Wait, even she's surprised though. I dropped them somewhere. What? What? Bro! What? <laughs> oh, what is this anime? Honestly, though, I love how creative it is. Because I never would have expected this. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be what are you guys' thoughts on this new girl that's been added to the equation, and how do you think she's gonna, I guess, influence the story going forward? Do you think she's gonna 
have a little bit of a rivalry with Momo? Do you think that, you know, at first she was just kind of playing Okarun, but eventually you think she's going to actually fall for him and actually try to win him over? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I am going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.